like to share my story with you. Matthew 6, 26 says, Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet our Heavenly Father feeds them. My story is captioned, God Hears. In the fall of 2008, one day when I arrived home from work, I found Rochelle, my younger daughter, laying on the sofa. She had just returned from the ophthalmologist. When I asked her how did it go at the doctor, she responded, I am going blind and there is nothing I can do. I froze with fear as she continued to explain, Mom, I have keratoconus, a disease of the eyes where the cornea thins out and there is no cure. Should this disease progress rapidly, there will be need for cornea transplant. I hugged her tightly and said that everything will be all right, even though I was not sure myself. That night, I prayed and asked God to show me what to do. The next day, when the reality of the situation sunk in, I was overwhelmed, so I reached out to my sister-in-law. As I explained to her my fears and concerns, she said, Debbie, you need to speak with Tasha. It seems as though Rochelle has the same eye disease as Tasha. I called Tasha and sure enough, she has keratoconus. She was able to give me guidance, insight, and recommendations concerning the way forward. The ophthalmologist prescribed gas permeable contact lens to help remove the cornea. I watched my daughter struggle with the hard contact lens which irritated her eyes as her vision continued to deteriorate. She was then transferred to another specialist who detected scar tissues on the cornea. He recommended corneal cross-linking. He said that cross-linking can stop or slow down the progression of the disease. However, cross-linking was a very expensive procedure. It was not covered by insurance because it was not approved by the FDA. Miraculously, God provided the money through healthcare financing with credit care. The procedure was successful in slowing the progression of the disease. I want to thank God for answered prayers. First, for connecting me with someone who was able to guide us. Second, for providing the money for the procedure. And third, for his intervention in Rochelle's life. God kept her from making the fear of keratoconus the center of her life. She remained focused and grounded. Rochelle never missed a beat as she continued through high school. Graduated valedictorian, she completed college and dental school and today is a doctor of dental surgery. Does Jesus care? Oh yes, he cares. May God bless us as we continue to live for him, as he strengthens us to live through whatever challenges we face. Thank you for listening.